But let's face it, folks, one helping of Eddie Haywood and company is never enough. So here's Eddie again, and this time it's the sunny side of the street. You see, it wasn't such a long walk for you after all, just 40 blocks. <laughs> yes, but at times I had to run pretty fast to keep up with you in that bus. <laughs> well, I kept leaning out of the window to point the way. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to meet another couple in front of the theater. Well, they'll be along in... Oh, here they are now. Hello, Bob. Sorry to be a little late. Oh, that's all right. Dame May, I think you know uh, Clark Gable. Oh, yes. Uh, but Clark, I thought you were supposed to bring a girl with you. Look down here. <laughs> well, there's no use standing out here on the sidewalk. Let's uh, go in the theater. Oh, and Mr. Gable, you forgot to park our scooter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Gee, that was cute, Margaret. The two of you came down on the scooter, huh? Yes, and I like Mr. Gable. Because he's a strong, silent type. He really is? Oh, yes. He just sat there quietly while I pushed him up the hill. 
Well, here I am, back again. Oh, well, before we go in the theater, what's playing here, Bob? Oh, gee, I don't know. Well, you picked out the theater. Don't you even know what picture they have? No, of course not. One picture is just as good as another. Oh, then let's go to the theater across the street. We will not. They're not showing The Princess and the Pirate there. <laughs> What's the princess and the pirate about? Well, Margaret, it's a fairy tale. I play the part of the hero, and I marry the princess. Gee, I thought all the fairy tales had a happy ending. <laughs> well, I'll go buy the tickets. You wait right here. Oh, no, you don't have to buy tickets for any picture I'm in. I'll just go to the manager and get some passes. Oh, there he is. Now, I'll be back in a second. Oh, manager! Well, well, look who's here. Yes, yes, I'd like to go in and see my picture. Again? <laughs> Now, look, I've only... No lunch pail today? <laughs> now, look, you, there's nothing wrong with me coming to see my own picture. 812 times? <laughs> 811, once I sat in the balcony with a girl. Now, do I? Now, do I or don't I get in free? I'm sorry. The theater operator's code says quite clearly in Clause B, excommunicatus contemporad dictorum con moto valedictum fini. What does that mean? We gives no pass to one meatball. <laughs> Part you, and not only for that either. The princess of the part is playing here, and you've got pictures of Bing Crosby all over the lobby. Well, he's in the picture, too. He only has a small part. I'm the star of that picture. Give me one good reason why you've got Crosby's picture all over the lobby. Because we're trying to make some money. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, well, please, Bob, there's no need to make all this fuss. Come on, I'll buy the tickets. Oh, no, you don't. Why should you buy the tickets? But I insist. Nothing doing. Mar Margaret and Dane may have been working steady. <laughs> You fellows will get this settled. Okay, it's settled. I'll pay. Oh, no, I'll pay. No, no, I'll pay. I'll pay. All right, you pay. Who, me? <laughs> oh, goodness, look at the time. What's the matter? It's 7.30. I have to go home now. Well, why do you have to be home so early? I have to get my beauty sleep. You know, us actresses, if we're not careful, somebody younger will step right into our shoes. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that leaves just the three of us. Well, then, the three of us. Oh, my gracious. Isn't this Wednesday night? Well, yes. What about it? Well, every Wednesday night there's a symphony concert at the Philharmonic. A concert? Yes. And tonight I live... You mean? Yes. If no one stops me, I'm dancing with Toscanini. Well, there they go. Yep. Yeah. There's just the two of us now. You got any more numbers? <laughs> nope. You got any more numbers? Nope. Well, what'll we do? What can we do? Let's go up on the balcony and hold hands. Uh -huh.